Satanic scientists have successfully linked up the brains of two mice using a neural interface over the internet, creating what they call a mind meld, or a hive mind, as the two mice now are essentially one, and they think the same and learn from each other, thanks to a $26 million grant from DARPA, the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency as they are moving towards a cybernetic slavery system uh, for the technocratic transhumanist dreamers who want to become cybernetic gods as we move closer to implanting the internet directly into our brain. As this precursor brain gate demonstrates that was developed about 10 years ago uh, where people wire in neural interfaces into their brain so they just think and the computer does what they think. Now, we already have video game controllers being made that read brainwaves through the skull that are used to control the characters and the functioning of the game. But this is extremely bizarre because why would they be wasting their money trying to do something like this? $26 million. Well, here is an interesting document published in 1996 from the Department of Defense uh, outlining technology that they expect and forecast by the year 2025, where they outline the, the idea that they believe, they hope, that soldiers and civilians as well will have neural interfaces wired into their brains to connect us to the technology and so that we can take, as this paper outlines, the ultimate reality trip or virtual reality trip. You see, they want to turn us into cyborgs, essentially. Uh, and it's going to be straight out of the matrix. I mean, we already have scientists that are thinking that we can download in the near future skills into our brains just like in the matrix. Okay, this is getting so bizarre. In the 1960s, the CIA funded Dr. Jose Delgado, who wired in neural interfaces into animals, into bulls, rats, and cats, uh, where he was able to obtain a level of control over these animals via remote control. So it's not that far-fetched to think that the science fiction movies of literally wiring the internet directly into our brain, it's not that far-fetched to think that that is coming in the next, who knows, few years, few decades. People who are watching this video now will probably see it in their lifetime. And I speculate that this is the mark of the beast, forecast, predicted, prophesied in the Bible. Because... This is the ultimate trick, giving up your own freedom, your own mind, turning it over to a computerized system with the hope and the promise, <laughs> the lie, of becoming a cybernetic god, a technocratic, electronic antichrist. So the Bible is very interesting. I mean, regardless, you can nitpick all the different denominations and the different, is it literal, is it allegory, the different stories, but... This is absolutely, f frighteningly fascinating that we are getting so close that they have linked up these two mice over the internet, many miles apart. And so they learn from each other. They can feel what the other one is feeling. So this is absolutely horrendous. But with Google Glass and then the neural interfaces coming, the cybernetic slaves, the, the masses of moronic, mentally enslaved mainstream media watching, mainstream music listening losers, will be lining up to get plugged in to accept their mark of the beast. As the Illuminati counterfeit Christ will promise you that you can have, be, do anything you want, just plug right in. Everybody's familiar, I'm sure, the audience is familiar with the Matrix. We got a theory of everybody 
getting jacked in and having your own reality supplemented by this artificial, intelligent, demonic beast system. And uh, it's very scary, but it looks like that is exactly what we're heading towards. So they are, they've done it in mice. Jose Delgado had remote controlled, radio controlled emotions and movements in animals in the 1960s. And like I said, here we have scientists that are at Boston University and at the Computational Neuroscience Laboratory in Japan uh, just believe and hope and are working towards implanting knowledge, inducing knowledge into human beings. So I, I covered this in my book, the, the Resistance Manifesto, originally published in 2005 now. I mean, approaching a decade old. I revised it in 2008. It's available on Amazon.com or your e-readers. Where I have a whole section dedicated to neural interfaces. Warning about this kind of thing. And at the time when I wrote the book, when I published the book, 2005, there was nothing like this in the mainstream news. It, it, people laughed at me and, and thought it was just science fiction and crazy, but... I sourced it pretty well from obscure trade journals and little-known experiments like Jose Delgado's BMI experiments, Brain Gate, using Matthew Nagel as a guinea pig. So if you want to learn more, if you want to get up to speed, check out the book, or there's a, a more up-to-date analysis in Big Brother, the Orwellian Nightmare Come True, because... That is exactly what's happening. And I think what we're going to see at some point in time, we'll see a large portion of the population, or maybe not large, a, a, a slight portion of the population who will be resisting these things, who will not accept this. And it's going to be hard to not do it because those people, us, me, will we'll sort of be left behind in the technocratic evolution the transhumanist evolution. We're, we're going to be seen like the, the monkeys compared to humans. Uh, so we're going to have to get the word out before it's too late. But I think that this is Bible prophecy unfolding. And the cybernetic slaves, the, the mentally ill mainstream morons are going to just line up for this. And they just can't wait to get their mark of the beast so that they can become their own cybernetic god.